Hello everyone. So if you purchased a VoIP phone on the internet and after going through the initial configuration, for example, what I normally do is just enter the server uh, provisioning server address. So for Ring Central is pp.ringcentral.com forward slash pp. And what happens is the phone reboots, it installs the software, but then once the phone comes up, you get an error that says error missing files reverted. And I've been trying to figure out exactly how to get this resolved. Looking online, there seemed to be multiple guides, some that were kind of very complex and long, and I, essentially it's, the phone is looking for a file that's not there. And um, so through trial and error, I've kind of come up with this method of how to get this resolved. So what you want to do is get into settings, go to admin, and this first step, I'm not actually positive if it's needed, but what I did before I got all the phones working, which before were not, is go to reset defaults, I did reset to factory, then, what I did is that once the phone came back up, I do, did what I normally do, which is go to Network Configuration, Provisioning Server, and instead of going to DHCP menu and making it static and making this HTTPS and putting pp.ringcentral.com in here, what I did is put it in the Polycom server. So I kept the DHCP under Custom Option 66. I kept server type at HTTP. And for server address, I put in voiptt.polycom.com forward slash 404. I'll have this listed at the bottom of the video description. Now, once the phone reboots, uh, if uh, you get the countdown, like 7, 8, 9, 10, you, you want, what you want to do is press cancel and then hit start again. This way, the phone will essentially start provisioning the new, the new uh, firmware from this address here. So if you did this, you restarted the phone and it came back up pretty much instantly, then it, it clearly didn't install the firmware. It takes about five to 10 minutes for it to install. Now, after this firmware installs, it seems to overwrite anything that it initially caused this error missing files reverted. Now, after that, all I did was change this to pp.ringcentral.com forward slash pp, put this HTTP to HTTPS, then the HTTP menu to static, I rebooted the phone, initiated the update again, and once the phone updated, it came out perfectly. So whatever this step does, it basically loads the Polycom firmware, which overwrites any of the missing files or errors that may have come on your phone, especially if it was purchased refurbished. Then after that, you load the actual Polycom firmware and everything seems to work perfectly. Before I did this step, every phone I got, I was, I was having a hard time getting this error missing files reverted. And some of the phones worked fine, but a couple kept having this issue. And so this is basically what it resolved it. So all, all the phones are now working perfectly fine after I did this. So let me know if this helps.